And when I press this, it's pretty clear that I'm an AR. Hello everyone, Nad Labs here. Today I'm going to show you how you can run AR games in Godot on PC. As you can see over here, I'm on my Windows computer. Even though I can export games for the MetaQuest into an APK that run natively on the MetaQuest, I'm going to show you how you can do it on PC. You will need a few things. You'll need a working VR game. So over here, I just have a simple scene that lets me see a few boxes around me. And when I touch the circle, it will turn black. And that's my, that's like my pass-through filter, which I'll talk about in a second. And what you also need is virtual desktop streamer if you want to test your games in AR on your PC. So what you want to do here is this is the virtual desktop streamer app on Windows, which you download from like the website the virtual desktop streamer website then what you want to do is you also want to uh, get sorry this is the virtual desktop MetaQuest app which i downloaded through the MetaQuest store then you link it through a like username account and then once you're inside of the app on uh, the MetaQuest, you're going to click this button it takes you to settings for the virtual desktop streamer and what you want to do here is you want to go to streaming and enable vr pass through of environment that's all you want to do that's how simple it is now when i go run my game which is over here. If I run it, you can see that I have like my VR system set up, but the issue is I want to see it in VR. I'm just going to double tap this button. It takes me into my game. And then when I press this, it's pretty clear that I'm in AR. And you know, I have a box here. Of course, the opacity is a little weird because you're using a like a makeshift solution. But the idea is I can see some text around me and it feels real. I can walk through it. You know, it's Oops, I can walk through it. It's pretty fun. There's a box there. Box there. And the issue is when you go slightly outside of the range of your Oculus setup, because it assumes that this app isn't pass-through, so it makes you set up this boundary so that you don't accidentally hit something. But the idea is, like, when you go out of it, it kind of disappears, which is kind of sad. But, you know, I can see things around me. And, like, there's a box here. I can look around it, look left, right, up, down. And that's about it to running... Godot apps on your PC in augmented reality. And I mentioned a bit earlier that there's this black filter. This black filter is caused by, I'll put a link to the uh, tutorial down uh, in the description, but there's a way to make this black filter show up for anything that's the background. And that background actually gets filtered out by our virtual desktop streamer app. I go over here, this black filter, um, this black color gets filtered out and you can just adjust the settings to whatever you want. But if you change the settings up a bit, then you also um, change up how the game looks. So if you want to test out a more like a darker version where the objects are a bit more clear, you can do that. But, you know, you just have to pick and choose. However, when you run the game natively on AR or in AR on the MetaQuest, it looks a lot more different.